The tour said last month that Liv's promotions event wouldn't be an unauthorized tournament, but is sticking with its rules on media releases. More weekly read, Tiger's return, the rollback decision. Entries for the Live Golf League's promotions event closed a week ago. But so far, the field for the tournament, which will determine three players who will join the league in 2024, has yet to be announced. Part of the holdup is likely due to some who have PGA Tour status, learning that their requests for a required media release have been denied. Even though the tour confirmed that it did not consider the promotions event an unauthorized tournament, the tour said it would handle such requests for releases as it does in all such instances. When a player wants to compete in a tournament not sanctioned by the PGA Tour. But here's the catch. Those releases need to be filed 45 days or more in advance of the event. It is 15 days in advance for Corn Ferry Tour players. It appears that some who have requested such a release were within that window, and the tour is sticking by its rules. Live Golf sent out a media release announcing the December 8 10 in Abu Dhabi on October 26, four days after the conclusion of its 2023 season in Miami. It is unclear if players had been prompted to enter prior to that date, but it was 48 days in advance of the event, meaning players had to request a release quickly to fall within the PGA Tour rules. Although names have yet to be released, there were in the neighborhood of 10 players entered with some PGA Tour status or who have played tour. It is possible some will now drop out as they face the possibility of a fine and or a suspension if they elect to compete without getting the release.